Okay, what are the steps to do the cleaning of this drawing? So, first when we come, we see that we, it seems like we have a lot of dimensions. And when we come with the mouse here, it seems like we have a big block. So what we can do is first we can explode this block. Alright. Actually, it was a block inside the block. Okay. Now it seems to be a bit better. Now we have all the dimensions here. What we can say, can I have one, select similar, and delete all the dimensions at the same time. Okay, what are the interesting things for us? I guess that in this case, we want to keep the grid lines. We see that this grid is in the layer S grid, and this one is S grid hidden. It's a lot of times that the name of the grid and the grid itself are not in the same layer. We're going to protect those layers thanks to the padlock here. So I want to protect the full layer of the grid lines. And then with the space uh, on the keyboard, I can again use this function of lock. And I lock the grid the hidden like this. I kept already my grid lines plus my names. Now, the other elements I want to keep are all my, all my penetrations that I see here. It seems like we have two elements. We have this thing and the uh, penetration. So here, if we click on that properties, it seems like it's a block reference. If we want to keep it like this, it could be a way, but I think it can be, it can be better to get, take out the two uh, white thing. So what I'm going to do, double click on this block, say yes, I'm going to change this kind of block, say OK, side chain, I come here and block generate, and I say OK, that I want to take it out, that as well. I can keep the cross if I want. All right, I save it. And like this, if you see, look at all my penetration now, they seem to be all the same way now. And now it's still a block, so I'm going to take that, select similar, and select all the blocks, and I explode them. All right. So now for my penetrations, I have something which is not a block anymore. My circle, which is here, it seems like I have something in double, so I select similar. I take all of them, I delete, and now, again, and now I have something very clean for my penetrations almost everywhere. All right, now what do I want to keep? As a plumber, I don't really care about all the internal things, such as the doors and everything, but I can be interesting to keep only my walls. So it seems to be this layer that I would be interested by. Um, all my external walls, or even internal walls. So I'm going to keep those internal walls. It's uh, this layer, so zero to, um, 04. So I protect this layer here. All right. For sure, my penetration as well. I want to protect them, so I protect them here. So, so the way it has been drawn, the penetration are in two different layers at the same time. So now I have all my walls that are protected. I have my penetration and I have my grids. I can control everything thanks to Control A and delete. This stage, I have something very clean to see on the side, and for my client, it's going to be something very easy. Now I have to finish by different steps. I go to layer properties, I select one, Control A to select all the things, and I uh, click on the padlock which is closed. Like this, I unprotect everything. All right. And now I need to select all, Control A, Control C to copy. And now. I have a clipboard in a new project and paste the original coordinate, which is super important. Okay, I have my drawing, I have still some elements, I have all my penetrations. I can save it on the desktop and let's say that is a cleaning plumber. 
OK. I save it. And if I go to this file, I see I have something super light that is going to work perfectly onto my uh, tablet.